Yeah, we've got a very tense situation out here. You can see the flames on the ranch right now. All of the people frantically working here, trying to uh, get these horses out of here. If you pan around, you can see how many animals are on this ranch. And we've got thick black smoke and flames on the ranch. So there are volunteers showing up, trying to get the horses out. I'm sorry, it's, it's hard to talk. It's hard to keep my eyes open because the smoke is so thick. Uh, it's, it's a tense situation. People very frantic. We rolled up here. We have seen airdrops, but we're not seeing a lot of firefighters. Uh, I don't know if that's because they're on the backside of this or if they just haven't gotten here yet, but we're seeing that black smoke. We're seeing these poor horses that need to get out of here. I talked to one woman who was trying to get her horse out of here, and she was putting tape on the side of the horse with her name and number. She said she was just going to load her horse onto any truck that came in here and get him out of here. Uh, that's how dire this situation is. Again, this is Gibson Ranch. Uh, you can see those winds. You can see that smoke. You can see how difficult it is um, to breathe and talk out here. And you've got all these people, uh, presumably who work here, who are, are, are running around uh, with buckets of water, trying to figure out what to do with these horses. We saw some bales of hay that caught fire. They were able to extinguish those on their own. Uh, but we have not seen any firefighters, at least on this side of the ranch. So uh, hopefully they will come soon. Hopefully we'll see more uh, airdrops. We had one that went right overhead us, right on top of our, our van. So they are out here, but we're not seeing any of those ground crews. And if you can look, Marvin, if you pan a little bit, you can see the flames right there, right through the barn. There they go. Oh gosh. Breaking. You know what? This is this is the, the really sad situation here and the sad reality that our animals are certainly some of the most vulnerable. <laughs> Christine, if you can stay for a minute or are you in in danger yep. yourself no we're okay okay the, where we're are they okay. gonna is there anything we can do to help okay we, they're asking us to grab horses we're gonna grab horses guys we're gonna go in there there's so many of these horses well oh you goodness. go do that christine uh, christine as you're yep, doing that yep do you, do we're gonna do that do you know they're going to pierce college is that where the large animals are being taken to do you know where they're going to go you know i don't know uh we literally rolled up here about five minutes ago Okay. Um, hold on, let me talk to some people. Do you need me to grab a horse, guys? Please. Okay, here you go. Come on, baby. All right. Well, on, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the reality of the situation there. Right. Look at that heavy black smoke. Christine, thank you so much for what you're okay. doing in yeah, helping of course, those. Guys. We'll keep you updated. Okay, oh those residents there. there. Maybe our here photographer can grab a horse hey, too as he puts the you camera down. Okay. I'm gonna go oh, my goodness. I'm going to get another. All right. So many horses there as as there we can see a shot um, as our photographer puts his camera down and goes to grab a horse as well. Those flames are getting so close. This is so heartbreaking to see, Pat. So, so, so sad to see. Um, we are hoping that they will be able to get them into those trailers and get them to some facilities. From what we understand, there is a large animal shelter at Pierce College. That's at uh, Win Winnetka Avenue. They are still accepting animals so hopefully they can get them into those trailers and get them to Pierce College it's so sad to hear the horses are so scared you can just hear them and and no wonder why and I'm sure the air, air quality as we've been talking about is bad as well even with those flames so close look at that heavy black smoke this is really a situation that I'm not necessarily sure that they expect it and that's the problem with the winds it is so indiscriminate it can blow and shift at any given moment. So even if you think you're ready and you're prepared and, and, you, and you're out of there, you might have some, a sense of, well, okay, it's not here yet. I may, I may miss this. But then again, you turn around and they can just come up so quickly. Yes, and thank goodness these people, these handlers are so calm right now. They're getting all these horses to safety. But look, Pat, how quickly that smoke exactly. is raining down on these animals and these people. We well, you know this is the Sunland area. In Sunland, Tahunga, Silmar, there are so many large animals, so many horses in that area. So this is not the only place that is doing these evacuations.